I've been dyeing my hair off and on since third year of college. Uh, I'll insert some nice pictures here of my various dyed hair strategies over the years. The last time I dyed my hair was for my wedding. I dyed it our wedding colors blue and purple. And as you can see, it's very much time for me to re-dye my highlights. But this time I thought I would do something different. Overtone for brown hair. Because I have brown hair, I've always had to bleach any area that I wanted to have color on it. And that's been fun. I've tried different formulas. This time it's a bunch of highlights. But I've always wanted to have that anime hairstyle where just everything is a nice bright purple. And hypothetically, this should get me that. Today I'm going to be applying the dye to my hair, letting it rest for the requisite 15 minutes, and then rinsing it out in the shower and showing you the results. There are a couple things that I want to keep in mind when testing this product. I have dyed my hair both professionally, usually I have a professional bleach it and then dye it the first time, and at home my mom will re-dye it or my now husband will re-dye my hair for me, and there are always a few issues. In the first couple of washes, my shower always gets a little bit dyed. This was especially an issue in my college apartment where I really had to get my security deposit back and having purple lining the tub was not good. Luckily my college roommate was really great at cleaning strategy. <laughs> Number one, will overtone not stain my shower? Number two, even when I get my hair professionally dyed, although in some cases they do a good job with this, I have had dye stain my neck and shoulders before. And obviously I love wearing tank tops, so it's extremely visible when my neck and shoulders are purple. And I don't like it. So second question, is it gonna be staining my skin? My third question is, how long is Overtone going to last? When you buy the set, it comes with both the one-time deep conditioner and the short-term keep-up conditioner. And obviously with a home dye like Splat or Arctic Fox, I don't have to worry about doing that. It just gradually fades and still looks pretty nice while it's happening. I'll insert some pictures of that because I also have plenty of those. In the directions, Overtone specifies that you can take warm or even hot showers, which if you dye your hair, you know that that's a thing you're not supposed to do with normal dye. I don't care about that as much. Because of my skin, I take cooler showers anyway, but you know, it's nice not to watch the ink bleeding from my hair into the tile, even if it doesn't stain on the way down. How did you find this product? Why do you know to use it? That sort of thing. Oh, that's a funny story, actually. I first heard about Overtone when I was waiting in the airport to board a plane, and I had my purple hair dyed with probably Arctic Fox, and there was someone ahead of me that had bright red hair. So I asked him what he used, and he said, Overtone. And I was like, oh, what's that? And he goes, it's a conditioner. It's a conditioner? Yeah, so it's not like you have to dye your hair, you just condition it and it reinvigorates the color. And I remember saying, oh, that's great, like I have to try it. And he goes, they only have it with the color red. And I was heartbroken. Fast forward like six years, I'm getting my first tattoo and the woman next to me has a really bright green dyed hair. And I ask, oh, like what brand do you use? Cause I still need to redo my freaking highlights. And she says, Overtone. I'm like, I thought Overtone only did red. She goes, no, they have all the colors now. They even have Overtone to go over brown hair. And I just think, oh, okay, it's time. So I ordered this three months ago and I'm finally doing it now. Don't judge me. <laughs> and I have a friend's wedding in two months. I have asked permission and she said yes. So of course I'm wearing a black t-shirt in case any dye decides to fall down this way. Plus I've had this t-shirt for like eight years. So if it gets a little purple, that's fine. I'm also of course wearing gloves to protect my skin, just like the instructions say, and I think we're good to get started. Oh, it's so purple. It looks very thick compared to dye that I've used. Oh yeah, it almost feels like beeswax a little bit. Very purple, very, very purple. I don't like the smell. <laughs> like minty, herby basil? I don't know, it reminds me of tea tree. Have you ever had to use tea tree shampoo because- No, well not for that reason. <laughs> well, that's what this reminds me of. And um, I'm, I'm a little spoiled by Arctic Fox because they smell like Jolly Ranchers. I'm gonna do it, just the whole head. <laughs> so you just put it on dry. Yeah, that's what the instructions say. And then we'll, after we finish, I'll put on a shower cap that I got like a cheap one. I'm lucky my hair is short right now. If my hair was long, this would have been such a pain. It's 
smells, uh, what is it? Do you smell it at this point yet? I do, it, it actually smells fairly pleasant to me. <laughs> Use more. Just cake that shit in. I think this will be the last batch. Honestly, it feels pretty thick and also very tired. That smell is quite strong. I still wouldn't call it a bad smell, but it's a strong smell. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Do I look like someone doing water aerobics in the 20s? Actually, kind of. Like a mix between water aerobics and like a sous chef. Okay, I did get a little bit of purple on my hands. You got a little on your neck. Oh yeah, you got some on the back and then some on the side. So some purple. That's what happens. I'm gonna try washing and seeing what happens. Wow, that's, that came off. That mostly came off, so that's impressive. And my glasses back. What's wrong, Shayna? I look like an old lady. What's wrong with old ladies? I thought I was done playing them after I graduated high school. <laughs> it's gonna be on YouTube forever. <laughs> I want to talk about how I started dyeing my hair because I think it's an adorable story. When I was in high school, we went to see the Broadway production of The Little Mermaid. My family was a very theater going family. It was one of the things that we splurged money on, although we did always take advantage of student discounts. Uh, at the time they had young boys playing flounder and the uh the kid who played flounder when we saw it actually had his hair cut short and dyed blue and then like in a little spike to look like a thin kind of this color actually <laughs> and after the show my family was you know walking through times square getting to the bus to go back to new jersey to sleep i must have said because you know i know that i could never dye my hair and my mom goes why not and i'm like because I thought you would never let me do that. And she goes, why? It's just hair. It grows back. You mean all this time I could have had dyed hair? It did take me many years to finally get up the courage. But then in college, I went to my hairstylist. We bleached it. We dyed it. I had a nice little band of, it was probably blue my first time before I realized how blue fades a lot easier than purple does because purple has some of the red, which is a natural hair color. And it was gorgeous and I loved it and I've never looked back. I would say I go six to eight months on and like six months off in between dyings. And it just, it's amazing how something like that can just make you feel so much more at home in your body. So the timer went off and I get to go rinse this baby and I'll see you in a few minutes. Here we go. Ready for the reveal? Well, my hair doesn't look purple right now. I don't see highlights anymore. That's something. So the towel's purple. I also see a little bit of purple like here, but that'll probably come off pretty easily. Okay, let's let this air dry and just look, cause it's gonna look darker when it's wet. And then we'll come back and see how it looks. So what I notice immediately is my hair definitely looks darker. Inside it's hard to tell if that is purple, but if I can find where one of my highlights used to be, I think it becomes a lot more obvious. I definitely like it. It's really cute. I've always wondered what I would look like with darker hair. So this is really interesting to me, but it really comes across in the sunlight. That's Silvertone for brown hair. I liked it, I thought it was an easy experience. One of the big questions is how will it last? So I will insert a update clip of me here. So it has been a couple weeks and many hair washes since I used Overtone on my hair and I am really impressed. After the first couple of washes, the purple didn't come off on my towel. It never stained my skin and I think it's lasted really, really well. In case I didn't say it earlier, leave a comment below if you've used Overtone, if you've liked it, if you've hated it. If you dye your hair, what products do you use? I didn't think I'd be saying this at the beginning of the video, but I'm definitely going to be using the purple Overtone again, at least until it runs out. That's all for Overtone right now. Uh, I will keep you updated. Check out my Instagram or my TikTok or whatever social media is hip and cool now to see. And until next time, cheers.